Hi, and welcome to another Cake-tastic Cakes video. I'm going to show you how to make something kind of different today. It is a hummingbird, a female hummingbird. Anyway, if you find this helpful, please like and subscribe so you can find me again. All right, to get started before it begins, I'm going to say go to your computer, print out a template of a hummingbird. So just trace it out. I split the tail, give it a little more edge. See, this is where the details that you add come in. And then I start adding the depth. I'm pressing down a little bit with my tool to make that back wing really show that it's behind the other one. And I put a little mark in it just to make the first wing stand out a little bit clearer. Adding some depth to the front wing, putting the eye in. I'm gonna fill it in later, so I wanna make a little recess for it now. Again, outlining, outlining the wing, giving it more depth, depth and everything. These are all the details that matter. So that's why we, you know, the template is all you need for now. Flatten the beak out a little bit. Make sure you go up to the face and then stop and then hollow out under the throat and down around the belly and down the tail. But as you see, that one ta tail feather on the back, leave it alone. That's gonna be kind of the closest one, I guess. So then using my knife blade, I'm just accenting the tail feathers, separating them out some more. I'm gonna do the same thing with the wings. I'm gonna carve out the top and then give it some of the flight feathers, wing feathers, I don't know, just to make it look a little more detailed. And this is where it's going to start to get fun. I have a straw that I got from, I don't know, a coffee shop or something. It's got a little sharp point on it. And I'm just putting prints down it, down the back, the head, and down the tail of the hummingbird. And now I'm taking some marbled white and gray that I rolled out super thin, laying it over the belly and the throat that I hollowed out, and pressing it down into place. I had used a little bit of water beforehand that I painted on with a brush just to make everything stick. I do the same thing with the beak in black, add a little white, a little black bead, sorry, for the eye. And now I'm just adding a little tips of white to the tail feathers. They don't have to be perfect because the hummingbird pictures I saw were pretty messy. And what I did here is I used different shades of green and just went over the feathers and outlined it in black with the wings and the tail and a little bit of shimmer. That's all you need. So if you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. And I have another hummingbird video that I have done. It's for the mail, and I will be putting it up soon. Thank you very much. Bye.